what an amazing and incredible film. And of course, you're playing a real life character. Yeah. Who was just probably one of the, just a top bloke, I think, could we say? He was, a top he bloke. was, yeah. <laughs> he, it, it really was. He was a, you know, he was a, he was a, he was a, you know, a pioneer in, the, in this business and, a, you know, a, a man that loved to share and loved to show and, and, and loved to be there with other men and, you know, and women and take them to these places. And um, sadly, he never got to meet his daughter. Oh, that, what was so sad about it was, yeah. he's actually on the mountain and he could talk to his wife who was pregnant. He had yeah. the technology, yeah. you know, to, to speak, but she knew and he knew it was yeah. goodbye. He wasn't going to make it. He wasn't going to make it down yeah. again. We were talking to each other. That was really hard. Yeah, yeah. Really, it was really funny hard. to talk to Jan about that 19 years later. Yeah. You know, and, and just, you know, and, you know, it was, yeah, one of those moments. I mean, that was one of the moments when the film and the story broke that really I just couldn't get out of my mind Me too. That just Me too. that it was still going on under this one big sky of the, mm. of the planet that... but I was at 6,300 meters we were hearing them on the radio reaching the summit mm. and all the congratulations and and everyone was just so happy and then we found out that Rob was on top a little bit late with Doug mm. and then out of nowhere and I'll never forget this in the space of an hour it went from a clear blue sky yeah. and windy to the most ferocious and violent and noisy and awful storm I've ever heard. We weren't as much in it as just witnesses to it. And I could hear it in my tent. And it was just terribly frightening and, and terrifying to think of people out in that storm, mm -hmm. in that cold, in that wind at night yeah. above 8,700 meters. And there is nothing you can do. It's man against the elements and you don't have a chance. Oh, it's not much fun. I went and climbed Ben Nevis. Did in you? That, remember, remember a couple of years ago there was a huge big yes, storm? Yes, 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 yes. We were rehearsing in London and Marty Henderson, who plays Andy Wig, jumped on a plane, went up with a guide and, and spent 48 hours on Ben Nevis in that storm just to try and feel it a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got to say, it's not much fun sitting around yeah. in a storm. I mean, you try and, you know, you try mm. and keep it together and have a sense of humour and, you know, and stay close. Yeah. But um, it's, it's, it is frightening and oh, it is... Incredible. And it's, it's part of it, I think, you know, part of, you know, going to the mountains and climbing. Yeah, what what hard, drives you to do I mean, I know there's a brilliant scene when, when they say, why, why are you doing it? And then they all point and go, because it's there. And that's what mountaineers yeah. usually say, we yeah. do it because it's there. But what you put yourself through. Yeah. Risk, yeah. reward, why, don't Well, <laughs> you know, I was an 11-year-old boy and I saw the picture that Hillary took of Tenzing on the summit. Mm. On May 29th, 1953. Did all that? You, you still went? You still yeah, we went found to... Rob's body um, oh, uh, below the South Summit. And um, it was, you know, he made this decision from his heart. Yes. He loved to see people on top. And he escorts Doug to the top. And then this terrible thing happens where Doug collapses. Mm. He's out of oxygen, out of energy. And at the same time comes this violent, dark storm with snow where they couldn't see, you know, four feet in front of them. So um, anyway, you know, I, I love being in the mountains and I, I love that part of the world. What I found extraordinary about it was, though, that they were, they were queuing to get up on the mountain. You know, there's only a small window. So yeah. many people now, surely that's, that ha has that stopped or is it still busy up there, or well, relatively busy. If I was on the mountain this year on April 25th when the earth shook and 18 people died at base yes, camp. Yes, I remember that. We were at Camp 1. Uh, when we were there in 1996, there were 12 expeditions and several hundred people at base camp. This year, there were over 35 expeditions and 1,200 people oh, at base camp. So it's not getting any less crowded. Oh, it's a mini yeah. city. Yeah, it, it is. It, it is. is. That's I was amazed about it. I learned so much from the <laughs> no. film. You know, but yeah, you all do. Of that, yeah. You know, so, you I, mean, that was, I mean, that was the thing about Bolt, you know, shooting it this way, was to put people on the mountain. So you do have some idea of oh, it. Oh, very much so. You know, and it is... It's hard, it's scary, and it's frightening. You wonder why a man with a pregnant wife and why another man with a, you know, with a family at home. But you see that mountain and mm. you see, you know... The beauty and the you know the the majesty of you know the cliche of, of nature and you just go yeah of course I want to I want to do it. Can I just say one thing about do working it. with him <laughs> for four months and then before that on the mountain? When I watch the film, I've seen it twice now on the big screen, and I see what happens. First of all, it's extremely authentic. Mm. It's the mountain as I as I know it since um, I was 24 years old. But you know, and I knew Rob, mm. and then when I'm watching this film, I'm seeing Rob again. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and blush, Jason though. really no, worked hard. An amazing <laughs> and, that's, and that's not an easy thing to no, do. It's not. But, it's not. And, and he got Rob's humanity, his love of getting people up the mountain, and the fact that 
Uh, crampon he, work. What about yeah. crampon work? <laughs> you were good at that too. Well, you look very at home there. It's a cracking We did. We movie. had a great time making it. it we really a, worked hard. It really is. It's an experience of a film. Thank you. Thank you both Thank very, you very much, much for coming out.